Oh. So what's up guys, back with Nerd Bros channel, and today I'm going to be showing you my science fair project for 2017, the water bottle, or the science behind the water bottle flip. Yeah, so let's get to this. Um, the pic or the videos that I'm going to be showing is going to be showing what's on my board. I'm going to try to explain them a little bit in more long divisions. So yeah, let's get to this. The science of the water bottle flip. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so guys, what I was trying to figure out in the beginning was if I... um. Fill different water bottles up with different uh, percentages of waters and flip them in different types of ways. How would they react? And how, um, like, what would be the best water bottle to flip? And what would be its best percentage of water and its best way of flipping it? So, yeah, that was pretty much what I was trying to figure out. So, let's move on to my hypothesis. Uh, my hypothesis was right here it was that the dull orange juice was with 30 percent water uh was gonna land the most with the lid grip because it had the widest bottom and 30 percent water makes it more sturdy at least that's what i thought and um also uh the the lid grip um is what most people use and they usually land it that way. And uh, I thought that you, the yacht bottle with 10% water and the grass blow would uh, would um, land the least because it's less sturdy when it's 10% fill and it has the smallest bottom. And also because the grass blow is harder to flip um, because you're grasping onto the bottom of the water bottle. So it's kind of harder to you know, flip it. So let's move on to my variables. So my first variable is my manipulated variables. Uh, my manipulated variables were the different water bottles and the water amounts because, um, yeah, uh, because those were, yeah, those were my manipulated variables. My responding variables were um, the water bottles because those are, were the ones that responded, like, that's just, like, that's, like, my whole science fair. Like, they were responding to uh, my flipping. So, yeah, that's my responding variable. And my controlled variable is the, um, the water bottles and the water percent in the water bottles. And trying to make the flips as consistent as possible because those are all controllable by me. M the materials that I used to make this were a water bottle, some water, table, paper, phone, and iPad, and a science fair board. Okay, so my, how do you pronounce that? Analysis, that's how I pronounce it. So this is pretty much like how this is what I wrote down when I was doing the water bottle flips. So I'll just give you a glance at them. That, uh, that's the yop. And then just pause the video there to see. And then there is the Nestle bottle. Here, I'll try to make it more sturdy. Pause the video there. And finally, the dull orange juice bottle. Pause the video right there to read it. Um, yeah, so then we're moving on to the observations. Uh, the observations are in chart, chart form. So this is the percentages of water and the percentages of lands. And the blue is the orange juice, pink is the yop, and green is the Nestle. So, yeah, you can see there all of the things, and I'll move on to the next chart. This is with the different types of flips that I did. Um, the dull orange juice still blue, the pink still yop, and the Nestle still green. And on the left is the um, percentages of type of flips, so that's like how many times I landed it. 
and then on the bottom are the types of flips, so the lid grip, the sideways top, the pinch bottom, grass blow, and pinch bottom. Uh, so yeah, pause the video to look at that one. Then my procedure is getting the water bottles, filling them with water, test and record the results, type on the computer, and go to science fair. That's Oh, and right there is making a YouTube video. Yep, yep. Dab, yeah. Um, and then my conclusions were that the dull orange landed 9.5% of the time, which was actually very surprising. Uh, the Yop landed 14.5% of the time, and the Nestle landed 14% of the time. Uh, because why it was so surprising was because um, the dull orange had the like the biggest bottom, and the Yop had the smallest bottom. It must have to do something. Why I think that the yop was the most uh, landed was because it also had the like the shortest, so that might have like leveled out with its small, um, the smaller uh, bottom. So let's move on to the applications to society. Um. I mean, like, if you're trying to impress somebody or make a YouTube video, I would probably use the Yop with 30% and the Pinch Bottom because that's what landed the most. Um, yeah, so let's go on to the sources of error. Oh no! Um, the sources of error were, like, that the, the, the flips weren't consistent because, like, because like I didn't have a machine con con um like consistently flipping them, and that the um that the water bottles weren't uh, exactly filled with the amounts of water because um because like I only had like measuring cups and I didn't get all of them in. So yeah, those were my sources of error. And to finish it off with the acknowledgments. Dun, 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 dun. Really, this I didn't have many, so I was really digging quite deep for these. So I got Dole, Yop, Nestle, Epcor, which is our local water source, Bow Valley Basics, School, Apple, and Google Slides. Thank you guys so much for watching my Science Fair 2017 water bottle flip, and I'll see you guys later.